Monday, December the 6th. Feeling free to place a blanket down from the earth to cushion your seat or support your spine with a little lift. Let's begin today with cradling each hip so that pick up that leg baby, foot, hold foot, ankle, knee, just support with both arms. Gently sit tall, feel your rib cage, take a deep breath. And then you may hold in one place or you may explore some movement. Just a little up and down, side to side stuff. Trying to soften. Then you close your eyes. Just feel. Breathe out, come to a place of stillness. And release that leg to the earth. Carefully arranging so it feels good and you feel settled. Picking up your other leg with love. Let it rest into your arms. Sitting tall, soft eyes. Stay still or explore a little movement in this hip joint. Loving awareness of your body and how it works. Its limitations, what it needs. Exhale, stillness, and settle that leg into a place where it feels nice. So you tuck one leg on top that starts your lotus pose called a half lotus, not necessary at all. Just sit in a way that brings you peace today. Check in with that. Taking your right hand, gently bring it up, your arm up, and then bring it across your skull. So we use our hand to gently stretch our own necks, draw your ear towards your shoulder, just the right amount. Try to relax your other shoulder down, your body. Feel your bony skull in your hands, that protection for the brain inside. One more exhale, maybe a gentle squeeze with your fingertips. Just feel the, the temperature of your hand and fingers. Release with care, slowly, other side. Try to relax both your shoulders down as you gently use a little bit of weight, not a lot of weight, just gentle. Find a place where holding on feels a little nice or a little stretchy. Holding that as you gently organize your center, your breathing through your nose, your navel drawing in lightly. Deep breath. One more time. Eyes softening, breath steadying, and a very careful letting go. Come to your heart with both your hands. This is we anchor the anterior rib cage, the front rib. So press in and down with your hands. Then lift your chin, gaze at your nose, try to stretch underneath. Tipping your skull back, close your lower jaw into your upper jaw. Take a few deep breaths. It's kind of hard to breathe deeply, actually. Be determined. Some poses are like that. One more. And then float the back of your skull up. Bring your chin down towards your chest, shoulders off the ears. Load up your chin to center, breathe deeply in. The heart chakra sound is yan. If you'd like to join me, inhale again. Yan. Feel that quality. Release your hands together. Rest your thumbs into your third eye and ohm. Inhale deeply. Om. Experiencing that quality as well. Your practice. 
um, change your legs if you need to. Come and catch your knees. And it's rounded to cat spine, seated cat spine. Round, tuck chin, tuck tail, curl. Grow into cow spine. Let your heart draw your shoulders back and down. Twice more, shoulder blades broaden. And squeeze together. And then whole spine round once more. Exhale, extended spine. And then back to neutral spine, relax. Release your legs out in front. They don't have to be straight. You can still be seated, elevated, if that's helpful for you. Um, yeah, so if you if it helps to bring your feet down, you can for this seated twist with the legs with the um, legs out. Also reach both arms and turn to your right side. Doesn't have to be a big turn. Twist and reach front and back. Eyes go towards the back. Heart is the juicy side gazing. Use your whole body. Be curious. And exhale, release back to center. Other side, inhale. Exhale, find the rhythm of breath. Active body. Impermanent. Fourth one, last breath. Exhale to center. Coming back over to the right side, roll into the outside of your hip. Use both arms. Optional to cross the left leg over if that feels good in your body. Infinity pose. You can roll onto the hip or just over to that side of it. If you can, take your right arm up towards the sky. No judgment. If you need it on the floor, use it there. A little bit of side bending. Lateral body. Active. One more breath. Bring yourself back to center slowly. Pause. Feel. Second side, infinity variation rolling over towards your left side. Optional crossover of the leg. So give yourself enough space so your shoulders have freedom. Take out that um, right arm up if it feels okay. Number five. Find your default gaze, tip of your nose. Soft gaze towards the center and downward. Exhale, and then the last breath. Release, coming back to center. And, um, let's see, I'm gonna try to read, read my notes. Okay, come to seated on your sacrum with your feet flat for a couple boat pose variations. Sitting tall, hold your heels. Feet stay on the floor, five breaths. Just imagine boat pose, Navasana. One more breath. Exhale, relax, release. Second one, toes point, stay on the floor. Fingertips down. If you need support, you can hold on instead. Number five, four, three, two, one. Relax, release, tip forward, cross your legs. Place your hands by your hips and lift something. Start with the corners of your mouth. Lead forward, press your hands, try to lift your hips. Like a reset button and come on back down. Last one, boat pose, hold on straight legs. So use strong arms, tall spine, point your toes deeply, whatever that is for you. Relax your feet and pull back your toes, spread them, whatever deep is for you. And then bring down your feet together. Widen your knees. Malasana pose, you may stay holding knees. Give your low back a little time here to come forward if you'd like. Stretching across your low back, your hips. 
going to not force and not hold back. Not hold back. Exhale. Release the slowness to your tabletop. Bring your arm from to one side or cross ankles. Use your hands. Pop over your feet. Come back to table if you want to warm up your wrists in preparation. Do a little of that opening to find your outward spirals. This helps your shoulders be open for these weight bearing poses on the arms. So you want to build positive patterns in the body. Um, Tiger pose we haven't done in a while. So what happens is we take one leg back, like cow spine, don't overdo your low back, just nice and straight back. And then on an exhale, pull your elbows and your knee towards your center. So towards your navel, hug your elbows in like chaturanga, curl. Four more times, extend, breathe in. Exhale, pull and curl. Tuck your head on that. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl. Explore that range of motion. Press your hands. Pull your elbows in. Once more. Find that extension and hold. Belly strong. One more breath. Think half moon pose. Just learning that extension of a leg lifted. Exhale, release, come back and down. Walk arms over to the right side and relax. Your hips can be up in the air or down on your heels. That's all fine. Carefully stretching the fronts of the legs in these poses. You can tuck blankets underneath if you need them. You can slide a blanket in there or just don't go as far down. One more breath. And bring yourself up for tiger, tiger second side. William Blake always comes to my mind. Extend, reach your leg, second leg. Exhale, pull and curl. Gentle breath sounds and quietness. Next time you extend out, hold for five. Press your hands. One more exhale. Bring down your knee. Head back towards your heels and walk your arms to the other side. Bring down your head. And then lateral release with that right arm reaching a little further than the other. Calm, head down. One more breath out. Coming back to center, saying hello to our dog, inner dog, the downward dog pose, tucking under your toes, press your hands, lift up, walk in or walk out to find your V shape. Your knees might need to bend to allow the V, so we don't want a U, we want to. Tip forward, pelvis, head down. Is there something that helps your body here? Do you appreciate walking out the backs of your legs or moving your hips a little bit? Just have some doggy freedom. Do what feels good here. And then let's settle into stillness for five breaths. Open hands, press. Belly up, head down, legs back. We can be tight in our front body and across our chest. Try to let that part, the underarms and the chest stretch. One more breath. Bend your knees to begin coming out. Step them forward a little bit at a time until you can fold forward and breathe out at the top of your mat and then stand up right into mountain pose. 
bring your hands right into your heart center. Settle your shoulders on your ribs and take a deep breath in. And out. Step your feet to easy wide, just a little turn out of the toes. You feel balanced and steady, nice open stance. For a swaying palm pose variation, taking your right hand down your leg pretty far to so do the side bend, and then your other arm keeps a bent elbow. Try to keep your, don't push your hips way over to the side. Try to stay pretty centered in your pelvis. Downward gaze, five breaths. I'm holding next to my knee, but I'm not pushing into my knee joint. And go a little lower if that feels okay. One more time. Navel towards the spine. Come out carefully. That's a pretty strong side bend. Slowness is appreciated in the low back. Just remember that in life as well. So heading down that leg. Straight over a little teapot pose, I'm remembering y'all. And then the other arm up, elbow bends. Right over to the side. If you need some stability in your low back, remember your navel in, remember your pelvic floor. Are you at a place where you're a little challenged? But you can still come out. One more exhale, bring in your navel very mindfully. Come right back up to center and release. Step your feet to hip distance, easy still. And then think of lengthening your front body here. So reach out, palms forward. Stretch. If it feels good in your body to bring your pelvis forward a little bit and lift your rib cage, you can add a little standing back bend. Downward gaze, don't go too far. And then our core strength will help us come out. Bring your pelvis back under you and shift slowly to forward fold of choice. Let your knees bend, take your elbows or toes or legs. We'll do Pada Hastasana a little later, so just save that one. Complete change of energy. Practice teaches us that we can control our energy. We can create calmness, we can create energy, strength. One more exhale, slowly breathe out. Let your knees bend it up to bring down your hands. Take your right leg back and bring your knee down. Anjani Asana's pose up. Have a moment to find your way in. Flush up your torso inside your bent knee. You can use blocks. Long neck, five breaths. Here's the scan so you can hold steady in a place that feels good. Soft eyes down your nose. See if you can gently tone your pelvic floor in and out the center of your body. One more exhale. Carefully release your leg back. Striking cobra pose. Pull back to child's pose and then come out to upward dog or cobra with your knees on the ground. So transition to that arms straighter and then go back to child's pose. Tuck your toes. Again, let your belly stretch, roll your shoulders back. You can stop at any point. I do a little elbow bend at the end of that one and then push back. One more time, striking cobra, unfurl your belly and pull back. Anjani Asana, second side, bring your leg forward. A little time to arrange your body, or you can have a longer hold when you know the poses. We get there sooner. That way, we, as we increase our knowledge, we can spend more time working on the poses if we know them. Always taking the time to move mindfully in. 
in and out. One more exhale. Bring your knee back to release carefully to your feet once again. Draw your belly up and fold forward into Padahasasana, hands under feet pose. Shoulders up into the body. One more breath out. Release your hands to your pelvis, bend your knees, bring down your hips, stay nice and low. Meet with your heart, Utkatasana, fierce. Exhale, five, and this inhale energy, press your feet, straighten your legs, reach up, back of the hands together, and exhale down into the sides of your body. Bend your knees, reach your arms, inhale, Virabhadrasana, I mean, Surya Namaskar. Exhale slowly to forward fold. Wherever you reach is fine. Find your way in. And lengthen through your skull to half lift pose. Suspend your breath a moment, spread your hands, take back your legs to plank pose, and then exhale. Upward dog, inhale, knees down. Optional, work with yourself. Good. And then downward dog through tabletop is fine. Five breaths. Hold that open chest, strong. Navel gaze, really tuck your chin. One more breath out. Keep the uplift in your low belly so you can step your right leg forward, angle your back heel, rise to warrior A, squaring your pelvis towards the front, tucking your tailbone a little bit or a lot. Sweep up your arms, lift your chin like we did earlier that. Just um, trying to stretch the underside, eyes up. You feel everything below you. You see your hands, your wrists, and your arms, but you feel your shoulders, your rib cage, pelvis, legs, and feet. Three, two more reps. Not holding back, not forcing. One more time. Open to warrior B, release. Inhale, turn side, reach from the back. Settle into that side facing one. Turn your head. Free your neck from your shoulders. Remember to keep your knees centered. You should see your big toe. If you look down, one more exhale. Go back to down the dog or the up dog too. So this flow back because it's a sun salutation. Work with yourself. Do what your body will appreciate today. Stay for five breaths. Bring down our dog. Just let your hands stick open in this pose once you get there. Let your thumbs relax. Find that nice uplift in the low belly here, exhale. That helps you step forward. You can also use your arm to help your leg forward. Look back, angle your heel, and those amazing feet and legs press to rise to warrior A. Arms up. Five, wait for your exhale, bring down your hands. With an inhale, open it out to the side. We learn that transition from one to the other. A little refinement and then hold steady, wide across the heart. Here at the Jasna B. Last one.
knees, bring down your arms and turn to wipe parallel feet on your mat. Have a moment to arrange into that. And then a choice here to move your fingers or to hold on to your arms or elbows for wide spreading forward fold. Time to hinge forward. Maybe your knees bend to help you hinge. And you can try to straighten them back out. Bravely bringing your head towards the ground. If you have the interlaced fingers and you want to bring your arms away, take care. Use your shoulder blades. One more exhale. Bend your right knee towards your toes. Press and release. Other side and press. Just explore that side to side a few more times. I'm curious, upside down. Sometimes we don't know what's going on and our, our bodies get mixed up and it's good for us to mix our brain up like this. Once more, each way, firm press, firm press, relax, exhale. Follow your own in-breath, stand up. Exhale, relax. Gently bring your navel to your spine and turn your right leg to the back of your mat for triangle pose. You may angle the other foot in. Reach out your arms so your heart is wide and spreading. Go over and down. You can ground your hand or just reach it next to your leg today if you want to challenge your strength a little bit. Legs are strong, feet open. Feel the muscles around the bones. Core engaged, navel in. One more breath out. Follow in breath, stretch your arms, turn your feet and legs from the hips over and down when you're ready. Equal reaching. Steady eyes, the downward gaze is more grounding. Sometimes that feels good. The traditional eyes here are upward side gaze. Five. Rise up. Release. Going to transition now. Reach up once more. Maybe balls of the feet if it feels good. Exhale when you're ready. Slowly transition to forwardness. Repeating these movements. Helps halfway lift. Exhale back to tabletop. Bring down your knees. Release your feet. Walk your knees back until you feel a little challenged through your arms. Tuck your toes under. So the plank pose preparation. If you are super solid in plank and want to lift your knees, you may. Just training ourselves. We can do all do a little bit. Hopefully it gets easier. I feel it strengthening around my spine and ribs and back, belly. Where do you notice that strength from your hands? Pressing. One more breath out. Bring your forehead down to the floor. Let your heart reach down to the floor. Keep your armpits up. Slowly release your feet and then sink back to your heels or towards your heels. Into child's pose, sorry. <laughs> One more exhalation. And then come through to sit down. You went through in your own way. So that little lift up we did in both pose, that's you can use that pressing of the hands to transition here and then to back to your elbows. Or 
six triangles pose variation. So carefully come back when arm in time is fine. Bend your knees. So stay lifted with your heart and back on my forearms with the palms fingers forward. Bring your right foot to your left leg. Bend your both knees bent. So making lots of triangles. You can slide your foot away to make space. Stay. If it's okay for your body, take up your left arm, bend your elbow, and curl it towards the right knee. It's okay to leave both arms down. Three, four, five. Release that twist and your leg. Second side, recommit to lifting your heart. Bring your right, sorry, left foot to your right knee somewhere. So a couple triangles there. Elbows are in triangle shapes. If you can, pick up your right arm and curl it over towards the top knee. It's okay to be mystified. I had to do this one a few times to figure it out this morning. Hopefully you are doing some part of it. One more exhale. And release carefully to center. Slide your hands forward and roll back. Bring in your knees to your favorite two knees position, happy baby or hug knees, Akanasana is the knees in to the chest. Five breaths where you feel good. Release your feet to the earth for bridge pose. The center of your skull is important to be flat on the earth. So the space of your neck is there. It's, it's nice just to put your hands there sometimes just to remind yourself of that space, to feel that soft hair on your neck. Grateful for that part of your body. And Bring your shoulders underneath you a little bit, one at a time. So you feel like your upper back is kind of pinned down and you can get some length in your neck. See about reaching for your ankles. It's okay if you can't reach them. You could inch your legs or just ground your hands, but check in. Five breaths. As you bring your feet in closer, you might need some tail tuck energy. Fourth one, inhale. Last one, press your legs a little straighter. With exhale, release spine and arms coming down. Complete release. Arms out, knees to the right. Knees to the left. Don't hold back. And return to center and rock up. It's okay to go off to one side. You can use momentum. Pull things back towards your head, your feet, your knees. And then rock it the other way. Hold on. Come up. Coming around for a downward facing body kanasana today. So if you want to spread out your blanket for additional cushioning, that would be fine. We're not going to quite do frog pose, but if you want, if your knees are sensitive and you want to use your blanket in this way. Feet together, knees wide. Use your arms to support this work. So we get a little mini plate work here as we find the wide knees, feet together. Sink back towards your heels very slowly. Give yourself a chance to adjust. And then if it feels okay, come to your forearms. Where you are with the shape, so a non-harmony. Mm -hmm. 
You're in control. Try to find a little move on the energy. Trying to pelvic floor gently in and up into the body with a small flame. Into that fire of the belly. When your breath is complete, do an easing out as you eased in. You can even pick up your legs or you can just bring them together one at a time. Release your feet flat, hands on either side. Bring the very top of your head to the floor really lightly. Do a little mini headstand. We can all do. Feel that little bit of chaturanga in the arms, that hugging in the elbows. And release. And sink back to your heels. One more time, drape your arms, child's pose. You might actually feel one additional time, but I, that's probably okay. Coming on. Um, to the front of your mat once again. Make your way to your forearms and to your belly. Let your legs go wide. Take a moment to just ground and rest into the front of your pelvis. Legs relax. So your low back can relax here. Pelvis is grounded. And could be for a minute or so in a sphinx pose. So having your chest up and your head up is the idea. So you might have come to a place where you feel comfortable and you can stay. If you want to work your elbows a little bit more underneath you to lift up more, that feels good in your spine. Bring your palms together if that works where you are. Breathe deeply. Let go of all your muscular effort. Relax your pelvic floor and belly, legs, feet. Feel that breath freely going in the belly here. This opportunity to study ourselves. Bahiaya, do we have trouble being still? Focus on grounding. And in a position like this, also focus on developing your breath in a slow way. Breathe very slowly, just a little bit longer. Learning to stay calm as we stimulate gently the adrenals. One more super slow breath cycle. And then a slow release of your spine down. Let it relax down. Bring your forehead to the floor, draw down your shoulders off your ears. And then roll to your right side, supporting your head with your arms straight or bent or a pillow. Bringing your top hand to your low belly to find your Uddiyana Bandha once again. So we re-engage the, the low belly and the pelvic floor. Developing that slowly over time with the rest of our practice. Then bend your knee and reach back for a half bow shape. Stretching your shoulder and the front of your leg and hip. But keeping space for your low back. Exhale for two. Keep 
pressing your foot into your hand, fourth breath. And then let your hand bring your foot towards your seat for the last breath. Just find that sweet spot where you need to stop. Exhale, finish, navel in, release, and roll to the second side. Time for transitions. Top hand gently reminds the low belly to come in. So that strength of the subtle core helps us easily find balance in a lot of different positions. So it's part of our balance. We'll help you fall down less easily, you be strong deep inside. Catching your top foot or ankle, gently stretch shoulder, just give yourself a moment and just let it hang, connect and rest. Deep breathing, exhale for two. Press your foot into your hand for the fourth breath. Creating more of that half bow. And then on the fifth breath, draw your heel towards your hip a little. You can bend your elbow to help facilitate if you need that space. And release. Transitioning to the back of your body once again. You can do the upward dog, downward dog if you would like. And let's let's have this be our pause at about one o'clock for socks and long sleeves to come back on for props to be brought close if you need to fix yourself up in any way for this last part of class. Come down when you are ready. And this time, what we're going to start with uh, lying down on um, cow face legs. Sounds so strange. Cross your right leg over your left at the knees. Bring your this whole package up off the floor and towards you. You can support your knees, reach for your feet, take care of your hips. So don't put too much pressure on your hips here. Just try to find some nice exterior releasing. You're in control. Three. Five. Straighten your legs up towards the sky. And now the eagle where we wrap and bend the knees. Wrap our legs together. And option to lift up your hips here. Use your arms, abdominal strengthening. strengthening. Just one more breath. Come down carefully, release your legs, draw them in. Feet to the earth, second side, go Mukasana legs, cow face. Go means cow, second side, bring it in. Support at the knees or the feet, keep your neck long. Carefully stretch your hips. Feet come out on either side eventually. Learning to breathe when you feel awkward. Just the right spots. You're not hurting yourself. You're just making it work in this exploration. That's interesting. Let be. Straighten out both legs to the sky, keeping the left leg on top. Considering that idea of wrapping and the knees both bend in eagle pose. 
stay or lift your hips. So lift up to shoulder stand, kind of variation core. Arms are really, really strong here. Head centered. One more time, totally new perspective on things. And carefully come down, let your legs come towards you so your spine can roll down slowly using physics. Release your legs, bring them in. And bring down your feet. Two or more variation here of figure four. Right leg coming up with a nice bright foot. Turn out from your hip, bend your knee, and connect. Stay down on the floor. You can go further out if you need more space in your pelvis, or come in closer if that feels good for your body. You can do a thready needle variation. So it's really easy to lift your chin way up when you do that reach. So keep your neck long. Maybe you need a pillow under your head. Stay where it feels right in your body. in that outer hip work. Just one more breath. Transition to the other side, taking your time. Roll down and cross. Pause. Second side, extend, turn, rest together. Pay attention to this side where you feel good? Where does this support your body? Is it further away? Is it coming in? Is it just resting in the middle? And once you're safe and in the shape, you can let your top foot relax. Let your breath start to slow down. Keep the rest of our movements pretty chill. We can really start the process of relaxing. Everything soften, but it's not needing to be active here. One more exhale. Let go of those actions. It's one thing at a time. Follow with whatever feels good in your body or bring in your knees or stretch out your legs. Listen. Coming to the knee down twist, first bringing your, let's do the left leg first. Bring it in, hug it. Again, keep your neck long, squeeze it way in. And then relax, bring it across your body with your opposite hand, hook your toes, or rest your foot on the floor or something. So we relax across, turn the other way. Steady your gaze off your nose tip, or just a general softening of your eyes. So whatever it is that's in front of your eyes, try to let go of attaching whatever the name of it is. Soften so that what's truly there, what's truly seen is light and dark. One more slow, slow breath. Open out like a sleeping tree. Let your Leg open, maybe touch your other leg with your foot. Give yourself some branches and rest. Other breath move into your belly. And out of your belly. Do one at the rib cage. We can 
control our breath, breathing, our energy. And now belly and ribs, inhale, three-part breath. Start low. Expand, expand, expand. Full. Empty slowly. Front ribs coming together and down. Ground in your belly. And breathe regularly, release. Second side, starting on your back, legs out. Bring your right knee into your chest. Draw it in with the weight of your arms. Guide it across your body slowly with your other hand. We roll to that side, bringing the knee towards the floor. Knee down, twist. And then the rotation of your spine. Turning away, opening. Find where you feel right on this side, where it feels like a nice opening. Forward breath, don't hold back. And see if you can use the breath on this last one. Where do you feel? Some tightness in your body. Breathe there. Cross your front of your chest and shoulder, your back, your hip. Come on back to your back body. Let your knee go towards the floor. Let your foot touch your other leg into a nice, relaxed, resting tree. Let's explore breathing now with the nose focus. So I'm trying a few right-sided breaths. Close your eyes, focus on breath, right side. Nose, nostril, sinuses, lungs. We have more lung space on the right than the left because of our heart space. Let's more explore right side breathing. Relax. Left side breathing. Left side, nose, sinuses, the wing of your nose, the lobes of your lungs, left side. Feel your physical heart resting there. Once more, move the breath. Follow emptiness back to stretch out Shavasana time. Try to disturb yourself as little as possible if you're going to gather some, some covering or props for your back, for your rest. We have a, a nice little section of time here, so get comfortable. If you wrap up your feet, make it loose enough so they can go out to the sides at least a little bit. Check in to make sure you have space for your low back. Rounding your body flesh down towards your heels. If needed to create more space there. Check in with your upper body, pressing your skull and your elbows to arrange your shoulder blades underneath you. Allow your arms to settle open, your shoulders to soften downward. Big breath in, whole body. Breathe out, open your mouth, let the breath gush. Let go. Repeat another time if you need that, if it feels helpful, feels good. And here we let the breath 
Move through your nose and mouth freely. Try to relax your jaw. Relax your heart. Your skull, your eye sockets. The bridge of your nose. Our bones soft and spreading. Hips rest in their sockets. Breath is free. And it offers us an anchor if we have a brain that wants to wander. Try to rest in the present. If you're sleepy enough to fall asleep, it's okay. It's quiet. Allow yourself some quiet. It plunges into itself, stone white, mottled with emerald, and finished falling forever. It goes on falling half rain to a pool in bedrock and turns extravagantly fallen to recover its broken channel through maple and maiden hair. But always falling again, again, the same water, having the meanwhile everywhere under the moon, salted and frozen, God and upraised into its cloudy mother of pearl feathers to gather against the mountains, foregathering its own and streaming once more to fall as it must fall at the verge of understanding. In a roaring downpour as strange as this very moment, swept over and over. Changing only your breath to begin. Breathe deeply in. Deeply breathe out. Swallow and release your stillness gradually. 
come back to your seated pose. A moment just to listen to your heart, to acknowledge and be grateful. Receive the healing and wellness. <laughs> Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you. Peace, love, gratitude. Thank you. Enjoy the practice. Let me know if you have any questions. What is it, puppy?